click the bell, turn on all notifications, and subscribe for around-the-clock WWE news in real time. The home of the most consistent and dedicated breaking news in WWE, Sean's View Ends, is here for you. Like, comment, and share today. And welcome viewers, fans, and subscribers to another edition of the compelling, the intriguing, the most thought-out, descriptive, informative WWE breaking news right here on Sean's View Entertainment. If it weren't for you, there would be no Sean's View. Now we've got reactions, we've got retorts from the wrestling world, and now we're going to get it from WWE stars themselves and Cody Rhodes reacts. You're not going to believe, you are not going to believe the response, the reaction, the retort from the one Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare. But before we get into that major response and retort and what the WWE's new plans may be, Ricochet is calling pro wrestling fans online toxic in response to the WrestleMania backlash that The Rock, Roman Reigns, and Cody Rhodes is receiving. The backlash, the outrage. I mean, can you imagine if fans, all these fans that are going about this really were the book, the ones booking this? Listen, Cody Rhodes, listen, a lot of people would say Cody Rhodes had his chance. He had his opportunity last year. He lost. He blew it. He didn't get the job done. Cody Rhodes is in with, you know, guys like Edge and LA Knight and Daniel Bryan and the Usos that didn't get the job done. John Cena's in that list. Randy Orton's in that list. Roman Reigns has beat them all. He's done it all, and he won it all. Not many superstars get a chance to get a rematch against Roman Reigns. And Cody Rhodes was going to get that chance. He was going to get that opportunity. And Cody Rhodes earned that right by winning the Royal Rumble. But it's very interesting news, guys. Just coming th across my desk right now. This is huge. This is major. And this is cataclysmic. Listen to this, guys. And I want to know from you, first of all, because this show is about you. This show is about your comments, your opinions, your thoughts. Like the video. Click that bell and subscribe. Do you think that wrestling fans are toxic? Do you think pro wrestling fans are toxic uh, to this WrestleMania backlash response and the retort? Now, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news on Cody Rhodes' response. I said we're going to give it to you, and that's exactly what we're going to do here on Show and View, where we stay true to each and every one of you. During an interview that Cody Rhodes had with Bleacher Report, before all this crap went down, Cody Rhodes said this, and this is very, very interesting and compelling to the story. And remember to sign up to become a channel member today and donate in the comment section below with a super thanks donation. You mentioned that the great one, The Rock, nothing but respect for him, says Cody Rhodes. I went and saw Jungle Cruise. I'm a Rock fan. I don't think he's the type that would come in and meddle with a story that's being told over the past two years. I think he's probably up to something else, but you never know with the WWE. And I'll be watching just like everyone else when I'm not wrestling. <laughs> Looking back, these comments from Cody were really interesting given what has happened and transpired. Also, we got breaking news now. What do you think about that? That response, that retort. This was all before, you know, CM Punk got injured. This was all before all these different things took place and shaped the WWE WrestleMania main event. The backstage reaction, the backstage news on the negative reactions for The Rock replacing Cody Rhodes. Ladies and gentlemen, an update to the situation. PW Insider is reporting. Again, we give all news in real time before anyone else. PW Insider is reporting that WWE officials are monitoring the situation and the negative response on social media to The Rock replacing Cody Rhodes. So there's a chance that the WWE might change plans as nothing is officially announced so far. The official announcement will be made at the WrestleMania 40 kickoff media event this Thursday in Las Vegas. Also, the, the Rock said this too. No matter the era, the decade, or the city, the energy and the connection between the people's champion and the people can never be broken and it's truly an electrifying experience that creates chills every single time. Also, the American Nightmare has basically gave his WrestleMania 40 main event spot against Roman Reigns to The Rock. Just handed it over on a silver platter. Also, this just coming to, wow, this just coming to throw across my desk right now. Ladies and gentlemen, brand new. WWE cuts the Cody Rhodes sad reaction during segment with The Rock. They cut it. They edited it. So, it, you know, again, maybe they, they think it, maybe the, the backlash won't be as horrendous as bad. But with all the tweets going on next, I don't know. The Rock also is reacting to getting heat from fans over the Cody Rhodes situation. And now viewers, fans, and subscribers, Roman Reigns sends a message to The Rock saying, Roman, there's only one head of the table. I'll see you in Vegas Usos. Now, that's what The Rock said to Roman. But Roman Reigns' rebuttal was very interesting as well. Ladies and gentlemen, also, uh, Victor claims that Vince McMahon was disrespectful about the death of Brody Lee. 
your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, Kofi Kingston, is he headed to AEW? Kofi Kingston was recently mentioned on AEW Collision. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. And also, ladies and gentlemen, is there going to be a special guest referee for the Roman Reigns and Rock match or Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes match, or will it be a triple threat match? Ladies and gentlemen, Rikishi reveals who should be the referee for the Rock versus Roman Reigns. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. Who should take over the special guest referee or who will be the special guest troubleshooting enforcer for that match? Does it even need a special guest referee? There's thoughts of names like Mike Chioda, Stone Cold Steve Austin being the troubleshooting guest referee for that epic clash. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sean Viewing Table. We keep you in the loop, in the know. Sean Viewing Table will give you the flow of the show. Oh, wait a minute. And this is why we do all news in real time. Look at this. Listen to this, guys. Just coming through my desk right now. <clears throat> not, to, not to be upstaged here. The Rock's promotion continues in WWE despite an outcry from fans. There is a ton of fan backlash, and as they clearly wanted Cody Rose to finish the story, now in spite of this, WWE actually took to their official Facebook page and changed the, co the cover photo to The Rock. Unsurprisingly, the photo has got an overwhelming negative response with over 13,000 angry fans. And these same fans, aren't they the same fans that wanted for the last three to five years for The Rock to face Roman Reigns in a dream match, a match that would catapult, a match that would be amazing, a match that would be <clears throat> trailblazing and eyebrow-raising? Uh, and now you don't want it. Now you're all for... Listen, again, Cody Rhodes had his chance. He had his opportunity. And do you think that the outcome would have been any different? I mean, there's always interference. There's always Solo Sokoa. There's always Paul Heyman. There's always one of the Usos that are getting involved. Did you think that the situation... Listen, would you rather have... Do you want to see Cody Rhodes lose two years in a row? Or would you rather see The Rock lose against Roman Reigns in his first shot, his first try? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. But ladies and gentlemen, that is not all because, guys, it keeps escalating. As the WWE is closely monitoring fans' reaction to the Rock's, 40, Rock, the Rock's WrestleMania 40 plans, The Rock and Roman Reigns will have a face-off at the WrestleMania kickoff event as well. We will have to wait and see how WWE will continue to book The Rock and Roman Reigns according to industry insiders, the dirt sheets, the websites, and the newsletters. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news that when Cody Rhodes found out about the massive WrestleMania change, guys, breaking news on Cody Rhodes. Moreover, according to Fightful Select, the American Nightmare was already aware of WWE's decision to go with The Rock versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40 before he arrived on SmackDown. Moreover, the report also stated that WWE talent, including The Rock, were already booked for the upcoming WrestleMania press event in Las Vegas on February 8th. However, the Great One's involvement in the WrestleMania plans was not clear by that time. Regarding the timeline of events, we are told that Cody Rhodes at least was informed on Friday that was his decision, and he didn't travel to SmackDown without knowing. Talent, including The Rock, had all been locked for the February 8th press conference in Las Vegas by that time, though The Rock's involvement wasn't clear. Cody Rhodes has received immense support since The Rock was inserted into Mania plans for a dream match. And with prevalent and, and prevalent and backlash already in motion towards the WWE's plans, it would be interesting to see how the story unfolds on the road to WrestleMania. So Cody Rhodes knew what to expect, what to anticipate. And again, Cody Rhodes is the only one that's not pissed and moaning and complaining about this. Subscribe, more to come with your daily hourly, around the clock, around the source, Sean View Entertainment will always pick up where I left off. Subscribe.